Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Christmas Tumblr tutorial. I wanted to create a really kind of elegant, simple Christmas Tumblr. A lot of the things I create are very loud and bright and fun, which I love, but I wanted to create something a little bit more elegante, you know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. If you enjoy it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. And I am going to be doing the 12 days of Christmas again this year. I did it last year and a lot of you guys really loved it. So I'm doing it again in 2022. So for the first 12 days of December, I'll be uploading a video every single day. I will have a list of all the supplies I'm using in this video down below in the description box. I've also got some discount codes down there for you as well as links to all of my social media pages. So if you'd like to follow along with me on Instagram or join my Facebook group, check out my TikTok, all of that good stuff is down below. In the description box you'll also find a link to my exclusive mentorship group MBMM Elite. I have an exclusive Facebook community for my mentorship group where I go live every single week. We do live tutorials, chat business, that kind of stuff. I also do an exclusive tutorial every single month and that tutorial never leaves the group. It's only for members. I give out free SVGs every single month. We do a monthly challenge. November's challenge is pretty good, just saying. And a whole lot of other benefits. We do cup swaps and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you wanna get in and join the elite fam, you can check out the link down below in the description box or go to madebymannyandmal.com slash mbmm elite. I'd love to have you. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go. We are going to be using a 30 ounce camper mug from Craft Haven for this tumbler design. I base painted it with flat white from Rust-Oleum. And you can see I didn't do the best paint job, but it's fine. We're going to glitter the whole cup anyway, so just base paint your cup the best you can. We're going to use the Crystalac glitter glue as the adhesive for our glitter. And the glitter we're using is Athena from Peachy Olive Glitters. It's one of my absolute holy grail favorite glitters. It's beautiful if you don't have it. I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you should definitely add it to your collection. It's wonderful. So we're gonna cover the entire surface of the cup except the handle. We're gonna glitter the handle a different color later. But once we've got our cup all covered, I'm gonna set it aside, let it dry for at least two hours. And once it's dry, I'm gonna, as you can see here, roll my cup around on my scrapbook paper to get off any excess glitter. Make sure that glitter is laying as flat as possible. We are gonna go in and seal this glitter with the Crystal Out Glitter Glue, so we're just, smooshing it down before we seal it all. Once my glitter was all sealed with the same Crystal Act glitter glue, I'm gonna go in with two coats of epoxy. I'm using KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy. Each coat was about 20 to 25 milliliters. So after those coats of epoxy are all cured, your cup should be pretty smooth. If it's not, you can sand your cup down and do one more thin coat, but before you add your semi-transparent vinyl, you wanna make sure that the surface of your cup is shiny. So you don't wanna put this on a sanded surface. It will show all of your dull sanding marks and all of that. So epoxy first before you go in with your semi-transparent vinyl. This pattern is from Create by Firefly. It's a really pretty semi-transparent lace. So the lace is white um, and all of the not lace is clear. So you'll see the glitter show through. So what I'm doing here is just basically measuring out where I want my lace to go. I don't want to cover the entire cup with the lace because we're gonna add some vinyl striping and other things to the cup. So we're just gonna do this basically to the middle um, of the tumbler, we're gonna leave an inch at the top and about an inch at the bottom, just of plain glitter. So I'm gonna start wrapping my vinyl at one end with the handle, and I'm just gonna line up the edge of my vinyl with the ends of the handle to help me place this straight, and then I'm just gonna smooth the vinyl onto my cup the same way I would with a regular sheet of pattern vinyl. I'm using the felt edge of my vinyl scraping tool to gently and slowly push the vinyl onto my cup, pushing the backing away in the process. And now once I get to the point where the handle is on the other side, I'm gonna take my craft knife and trim down 
I'll make a little slice at the bottom of the handle and then I'll wrap that piece of vinyl around that way and then I'll repeat the same process at the top and then I'll cut off a couple little pieces around the handle so that I can push the middle piece through the handle and get that to lay flat. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, just take this slow, make sure you have a really sharp craft knife, it will really make a difference, I promise. And once you've got all your vinyl laid down, you can cut any excess off around the seam. I try to keep it as close to the seam as I can, but I do leave a tiny little, like maybe like an eighth of an inch of overlap, just because I don't want any gaps in my vinyl. I'd rather have a little overlap than have gaps. Once we've got our lace pattern laid down, I'm gonna go in with this red glitter vinyl from Craft Haven, and I believe I cut these at 0.4 or 0.3 inches wide, so they're pretty thick. Um, I'm gonna place them at the ends of our lace vinyl to kind of finish off those edges. We're gonna add some more vinyl here in just a second to intricate this up a little bit. I know intricate's not a verb, but I just made it one. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna take this transparent glitter vinyl, also from Craft Haven, and I'm gonna place this on the inside of those red stripes. So about maybe like a little more than a quarter of an inch away from the red stripes, I'm just gonna place those up onto the lace vinyl. And you can barely see them, but they do add a little bit of extra detail to the entire you know, overall look of the tumbler. Then I'm gonna take some textured metallic vinyl from TechRap Craft, and I'm gonna place two stripes. One I'm gonna place at the bottom edge of our red vinyl on either side, and then I'm gonna take a thinner stripe of the same textured metallic, and I'm gonna place that stripe in the middle of our red vinyl. So we're gonna kinda of cut that thick red stripe up a little bit so it's not so chunky. Now to finish off our vinyl work, we're going to add some florals from this element sheet, also from Create by Firefly. These are semi-transparent as well, so the images are printed on white ink, and then everything around it is printed on clear, so these are gonna show up on any color background. And I'm just gonna take them and place them randomly all over the cup. I'm trying to stay mostly in the lace pattern, but we will have a little bit of overlap onto the striping sections just to kind of tie everything together. And there's really no pattern or rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. I'm just kind of placing things where I think they look good, trying to fill up as much of this space as I can. I really wanted to bring out all of the Christmas florals for this design. So once I'm done placing those, I'm gonna go right into glittering the handle of my tumbler. Now I'm gonna use the same Crystal Lock glitter glue that I've been using throughout this entire tutorial. If you guys didn't know already, I'm obsessed with this stuff, it's amazing. And I'm gonna tint the glitter glue with a little bit of red Arteza acrylic paint. Any acrylic paint you have will work totally fine. And then I'm gonna tape off all of the areas around my handle so that I don't get any paint anywhere I don't want it or you know any glitter or anything where it's not supposed to go. For the glitter, we are using Santa Suit from Create by Firefly. This was in their October bug box. It should be available on the site individually very soon. It's a really beautiful, like mini chunky red, and it's the perfect Christmas red. So when it's available, I would recommend grabbing it for all of your Christmas tumbler needs. It would also be really good for Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna cover the entire surface of my handle with this glitter, and then very carefully, right after glittering, I'm gonna remove all of that tape, set it aside, let it dry for two hours, seal it with a coat of the glitter glue, and then I'm gonna go in with my final two coats of epoxy. For my final two coats, I really focused on making sure the handle was smooth. You don't wanna to apply too much epoxy to your handles, just go slow, light, thin coats. If you need to do more than two final coats, go for it. Um, two coats was fine. I did one coat, lightly sanded, and then did my final coat. So after that was all cured, we are all done. So here is the final result. I really, really love how this turned out. It's a little bit different from my typical style, but I really like the final result and I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, remember, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down there as well. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye.